Sure, well I started um, my Bachelor um, of Engineering here at uh, Auckland University and then from my Bachelor I went on and did postgraduate study um, through the PhD program also here at the University of Auckland. The main venture was uh, INRO Technologies, right? Um, and INRO is uh, a forklift automation company. So we looked uh, in the, you know, we kind of surveyed the domain and saw that there was this big opportunity in warehousing to take, uh, you know, something that customers were very familiar with, a forklift that, um, you know, was like 80% of their costs was a driver on that machine moving stock around in their warehouse. Um, and so, you know, we, we saw that opportunity and uh, utilized what we'd learned in our, in our engineering degrees and, and went after the opportunity, right? Um, eventually building this company to uh, provide automated forklifts, so taking the person off that machine. It was, uh, you know, a really compelling proposition. I mean, Spark was, Spark was really the thing that, I guess, um, ignited the whole venture for us, right? And um, Spark was about opening doors, I think. So, you know, when you're a, a student, for me, an engineering student, um, there's not a lot of exposure to, to business. And it's maybe not even in your mindset to go after uh, building a company. Um, but you know, Spark came along as a as a competition, um, and really uh, showed us that you know there was an option here, a valid option, where we could go and create something that was ours that we owned. Mm -hmm.